Imagine not getting your mail for an entire week. Viewers from an east side neighborhood called us asking us to look into why they hadn't received mail since January 8th. Now, after we called Madison's USPS office hours later, some of that mail did show up today. WMTV's Marcus Arswald talked with that frustrated community. Marcus. The Westminster Gardens Condo Association president received her first mail in this entire week this morning. She's been upset it's taken so long. We have to pay those bills, so it's like, where's the mail? Therese Lawler says she and at least 20 neighbors didn't get their mail delivered since a week ago Tuesday, something that could impact those who depend on checks received through USPS. Our complex is a lot of seniors, and if they can't get their money, it's it's scary. Lawler says she called, emailed, and filed online complaints with no luck until Wednesday. Even then, she's only received junk mail. She's still waiting on important tax documents. You would think that they would come at some point. I don't care if it's 8 o'clock at night, but it's like, I want that mail. We were not happy here. Lawler's neighbor, Barb Clark, is also frustrated with USPS. She says their previous mail carrier retired in December, and since then, delivery hasn't been the same. They have to figure it out. If there's a vacancy, move people around. Uh, there's other ways to accomplish an end besides just sticking to the same old, same old. Both Clark and Lawler are now worried about the mail they're sending. Will it get to the right place on time? They're not sure. If we're not getting the mail, they're not taking it either. So now our bills aren't getting paid. We asked USPS and they sent us a statement saying in part, quote, recent heavy snowfall weather conditions have impacted service in limited locations, end quote. Residents I spoke with also say the Postal Service is short staffed in Madison. I asked USPS about that as well. They emailed me saying their services are, quote, steady, end quote, but they're also, quote, continuing our aggressive hiring efforts in this region, end quote. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, WMTV 15 News.